right guys, we just drove for like 30 minutes to this place to eat Mukrata which is, if you haven't heard about it, that's um that's a traditional Thai hot pot and the reason why we come to this place, it's called Homi Mukrata is because the owner is actually one of the master chef consistent so I'm very excited, I've heard tons of good reviews um, he basically like created his own menu for the Mukrata so it's like kind of unique so yeah and this place is also really pretty um, it's huge and also oh my god I have the picture <laughs> of this here yeah I'm gonna show you guys around it's our table. This is all the Mokrata set. Alright, so we have a bunch of like different type of um, meat. We have the pork, beef, some shrimp and there's a cheese tobacco fish ball and also we ordered some side dish this one is a shrimp with a Thai salad and vegetable and I'm excited to try their noodles basically it's um, egg yolk and then you just like mix it with the noodles yay yeah, I didn't know about this yes before. this one this one yes it's a pork belly right yes okay Get a pork belly and then you put it around. Around? Yes, it's oh. just like oil. Oh, okay, okay. So it won't stick. Yes, it won't stick. <laughs> <laughs> and you mm. put under the center. Right. Oh, here? Okay. Okay. There. Okay. okay, after that you can put something. Oh, okay. And the vegetable and it's you pull around this soup. Oh, okay. This is a pork and chicken soup. Mm -hmm. We both for four hours every oh. day. Okay. Yes. Nice. Thank you. All right, this thing. Highly recommend it. I don't know if you guys can hear me because I have the tiny waterfall here. Like my phone is also very relaxing. Yeah. This is very good too. I really love their sauce. They have tons of different type of sauce. I think they have four different sauce. Loving it. Alright, trying some of their traditional dessert. Apparently this one has some herb in it, so we're gonna try it. And also they have a coconut ice cream, so you're getting it. I'm taking you to another highly recommended place here in Chiang Mai. It's called the Baristro and they have different locations. The one that I'm in right now is called the Baristro Asian style and basically different location has different style and there's one where they're more like um, focused on making the coffee and this one is pretty unique. The Asian style one is very unique because they're more focused on the slow bar so they have this one station where they make all the matcha and when you order something they just make it in front of you which is like I think that itself is a pretty cool experience and I really like the I really like the design here it just it just feels like I'm back in Japan and they have two different section here they have the slow bar where you can order matcha enjoy your tea it's very quiet they have the Japanese um, style seating and the other side they have the fast bar they called it so it's more like when you want to order coffee you want to work so just to give you guys an overview this is the speed bar and you can also order some cakes here I love how they have a huge selections for dessert I'm um, definitely gonna try some of this but yeah this is where they make the coffee and then on the other side they have the slow bar The red omelet, cha. So I had to order. The first one is without milk, and the second one is a latte with a mix of coffee, milk, and also green tea. And it's so interesting, and it's such a nice experience. See them like handmade all the matcha, and this one is called Suko Suko Chosen Kyoto, and they have edamame, dried flour, and yeah. The menu itself is very self 
um, explanatory and also like very unique. First time I can taste edamame in a matcha. If you're coming here, do yourself a favor, order this cake. So good. thing that I want to mention if you're coming here they do have an entrance fee I find that kind of different actually like usually coffee shop they don't have entrance fee but this place does so each person gotta pay 80 baht but they give you a small coupon and with that coupon you can also like um, exchange it to drinks or like meal inside the cafe Oh my god, look at this. It's called Corgi Butt. <laughs> and apparently, you can squeeze the butt and the cacao cream will spread out. So, let's try that. <laughs> yeah. I'll try their cow soy as well. I'm glad they go So if you're coming to Chiang Mai, obviously you gotta try the traditional northern noodles which is khao soy and we also tried some of the famous spot for khao soy but honestly speaking, I think the khao soy they have here in Robert is even better than the one that we had before so this place is called Robert's Bacon and French right and Robert is the owner so now we're gonna go and meet Robert you guys ready this little guy is Robert hi Robert hi hi Robert Japanese sushi bar. It's called Uchi, Uchi Gastro Sushi Bar. So if you guys are in Iman and you want to try like some Japanese food, you can check out this place. They have some unique menu. It's more high-end and they invited me to come here to try out some of their food. So yeah, we're really excited. We ordered a bunch and we're so ready to dig in. Alright, let me show you what we have so far. I love the food presentation so pretty all right we got some unique stuff here first one is the grilled eggplant it's huge and this one what do you call this again uh, honey miso honey miso it's basically the crab's brain i think so yeah 
Huh? Okay, correction. It's not the brain, it's the crab in pesto. Wait, how do I do <laughs> I think you just gotta wrap it. I think I'm gonna use chopstick. Mm. Yeah. I think so, maybe. Alright. Mm. Good. Very, very good. Mm. Uh,